The positioning of BLC chip and input-output fibers is carried out on fully automatic stations. Adjust the angle between fiber ring and the PLC chip to minimize the insertion loss. Find the lowest value through the optical coupling step to make sure that the PLC splitter has 8 channels and that each channel is processing alive. It is the most important step because it ensures optical coupling alignment, then start curving. In our reduced time, a trend curve enhancer is generally used in assembly process. Part 2. Packaging it is necessary to further package the PLC chips into an aluminum tube. Install the black wrapper cap. Carefully insert the bare optical fiber into the 0.9mm loose tube. Then place the PLC chips into the mantle housing. Fix it with glue and cover the mantle cover. The optical fiber connection interferes in the cam point to maintain long-term reliability. So, the combination of Lorida epoxy resin and slide-chain material is used, which has the advantages of high moisture resistance and good peel resistance. Taste the insertion loss to make sure every fiber is lower than the value 7. Path 3. A simple connector. Inject epoxy to the ferro. Strip keep jacket by automatic stripping machine. Put through connector parts and insert the fiber to the ferro. Regarding the assembly connector, there are series of coherent operations which are currently under manually. To make the epoxy solidify, hidden oven is used. Assemble the parts with in sequence. Punish the end face of the ferro by a punishing machine. Generally speaking, the production process of the splitter is basically completed. If the customer has higher requirements for its duration and flexibility, the chip optical splitter can be customized. Part 4 A simple plug-in type PLC splitter. Install the adapters on the ABS box. Fix the mini type PLC splitter in the box. Then test the insertion and return loss. Finally, install the box a cover with screws. Ether can make foreign trading easier.